Okay, so <clears throat> hello everybody, welcome to the sound test room. So what we're going to do today is uh, have a look at uh, Yamaha's uh, visual performer. Okay, so um, first of all, this is great for practicing. You can hook it up to your core MIDI keyboard, or if you just download the program, which is for free, you can... Uh, You can play the screen, but it's not as good as hooking it up to your keyboard. So what I've got it hooked up to here is um, uh, I elect I electric. So what happens is we can select from different um, different scenes here, different sort of pictures, uh, backgrounds, visual images, and we can also blend them, but I'll get to that in a sec. So first of all, let's just have a look how this looks, so we can get rid of all of that. So if I play the keys, I find it really cool as well because what I was doing is I was um, you practice. You, st <laughs> you tend to want to look at the the, uh, the graphics as well. So let's have a look at a few more graphics. Otherwise, we'll be here all day. So I quite like circles. Circles is cool. Also record audio from your mic and it will record the images as well so we'll get to that in a sec as well first of all let's have a look at some of the other cool things it'll do okay you can mix images so that it will trans it will it'll make a transition as you're playing for different things okay this little button here allows us to mix these two images so if we hit that there <laughs> change well let's change that one there so the background is that and let's pick um uh, this one which is called galaxy and let's just get rid of that a sec i hope you can see this okay just in case you can't let's just adjust the brightness a little bit that might be a little bit better So we'll a couple more. So say, for instance, we want to mix two, so we can mix, and we can mix circles with uh, ink drop, say, for instance. So. Okay, some of them you need to adjust. Colors a little bit. I mean, I'm still playing with this, so. Okay, so let's just go back to single. And this one, which is um, the paint splash one. This is really cool. I like this one. 
Like I said, it's free. You can buy the whole in app for one ninety nine, which gives you all the functions. screen with, with weird and wacky colours. Um, other colours we have here, this one is called Japanese. Uh, we can change the background gradients as well. If we go into mix here, I think we have uh, Japanese selected there. So we can choose the uh, gradient. Let's make the colour. Make it like that. Shows how it mixes, so... Okay, so I'm going to uh, pick another one. This is my one of my particular, but I really like this. So also, this is what else it'll do. It will read MIDI data from your MIDI keyboard. Obviously, that's how it works, and you're triggering your dielectric from whatever or whatever synth. <clears throat> if we um, turn down the turn down the iPad signal. We can mix in with our, our just our MIDI sound as well. Okay, so it's not going to record this, okay, but it's nice to play around if you've got a keyboard. And if you wanted to, let's pick something that sounds a little bit different. Actually, let's pick a completely different category, otherwise we're going to be... Okay, so this is the key, the, this, that's the sound from MicroStation, so we can blend back in the sound from the iPad. There you get the idea. Now, let's take out this. So we're just left back with high grand. And if we hit this little record button here, okay, we can do this. So let's hit record. nearly no so well i know what i've done wrong here okay let me just stop that oh it's a good idea actually so we'll just stop the recording cancel it in settings it'll choose you the the your midi keyboard so it says the device cork microstation that's fine that's fine now real puts a keyboard And each of the different graphics has a different sound. Put a keyboard over the, the, the display. Let's go back to XY, which is zippy zippy up and down. We can choose our key that the it plays in, that this plays in. Okay. And the scale. So you have all the different scales. This is only if you're playing off the XY pad, though. Okay, so you've got to remember that. Now, mic input... It, it, this will record if you're talking or you've got an acoustic guitar or, or you've got an audio input. 
you can record any audio input with the with this okay so if you're using say like a little um the little behringer uci audio input then you can record anything into this with the video as well so we're going to just do this we're going to mic input we're going to have it on ipad so recording is ipad okay so now let's try that again so um i don't know stop that save to camera roll now so saving to camera roll so this now creates a video with the audio from the iPad I hope okay so let's say uh, just see find camera roll there it is there it is there now you'll notice right I I don't think it's me I think it's just the way it records the quality is not great so And I, and I and can't hear anything, neither. So I don't know. Now I did do this. I did this the other day, right? And it worked fine. It recorded the, it recorded the iPad sound. So I don't know. Anyway, apparently you can, and I did the other day, and it worked. So maybe it was something I've done wrong in settings or something. I don't know. But I think it's really cool. What I find it honestly best for is not recording because the, the picture quality is not that great anyway for the video. But I really just enjoyed. The practicing elements. It was really cool. So anyway, so let's see. That's... Um, Here's somewhere, Yamaha, visual performer, Yamaha Viz performer. It's free, it's on my IAP, so $1.99. And then guess it's $3.49 or something. All right then, guys. Um, later.